Welcome everyone with, uh, to Chemistry with Christopher. I'm uh, checking out how to balance a oxidation reduction uh, reaction. So here we've got um, two half reactions and we're asked to balance uh, these half reactions. Uh, first thing to um, identify here is if we look here at the balanced equation, uh, first thing we want to do is balance all elements uh, except H and O. So here we got two CRs on this side and we do not have two CRs on that side. So what I would do first of all is put our CR2, O7, 2 minus and we need two CR3 plus. FEs are already balanced so those are good to go. 2 plus going to FE3 plus. Now in identifying these here, the other good thing to do is identify what is being oxidized and what is being reduced. Okay, uh, So to do this here, you've got um, seven O's and each O has a charge of two minus and there are seven of them and then you've got two CR's, two, and then the charge on this the net charge has to equal 2 minus, so that's negative 14. This has to be 6, positive 6, to equal negative 2. So the CR has a, um, a positive 6 oxidation number. The O, of course, has a negative 2. The CR on this side has a positive 3. The Fe on this side has a positive 2, and here you have a positive 3. So, identifying the oxidation numbers here, you can see here that this is reducing in the oxidation number from positive 6 to positive 3, so that's reduction. And this is um, going from positive 2 to positive 3, so it's losing electrons, that would be oxidation. So once we have established which, what is being reduced and what is being oxidized, remember it's always done from the, um, the individual elements, uh, we can then look at uh, balancing um, the O by adding water. So we got seven O's on this side, so we're going to add seven waters on this side. Okay, look down here, there's no O's, we're good to go. Uh, then balance H by adding H plus. So we got 14 H's on this side. So we're going to want 14 H pluses on that side. Our next step is to balance the total charge by adding electrons. So here we can see we've got 14 positive and 2 negative. So that's going to be 14, uh, 12 positive. And over here we have 3 times 2, it's 6 positive. Okay, so this is 12 positive, that's 6 positive, so we would need 6 electrons on the left side to balance the electrons. Then on this one, we've got 2 positive and 3 positive, so we would need 1 electron down here on the bottom to make this amount of electrons um, equal total charge. Now we want to equalize the electrons. We've got 6 up here on the top and only uh, 1 down here on the bottom. So if we give us a little bit more room to work, uh, we take this here, multiply this by um, 6, whole entire equation by 6, uh, that would give us 6 of these, 6 of those, and 6 of those. So that gives us 6 on the left, 6 on the right. Now we add the half reactions, and cancel out electrons. So the electrons here cancel out six electrons and six electrons. We get 14 H plus plus Cr2 O7 2 minus plus 6 F E2 plus and this forms 2 Cr3 plus plus 6 Fe3 plus plus 7 H2O. And now the equation should be balanced, so let's check. We got 14 positives, so 14 positives, uh, 2 negatives, 2 negative, 6 times 2, that's 12 positive. Then on this side, 2 times 3, that's 6 positive. Uh, 6 times um, 6 times 3, that's 18 positive. So here we've got 14 plus 12, that's 26 
minus 2, that would be 24 positive. And over here, 6 plus and 8 plus, that's 24 positive. So this here is our balanced oxidation reduction equation. Charge balanced and number of atoms balanced. So again, this is assuming it's in acidic conditions. That's one assumption that needs to be made. I didn't include that at the beginning. Now, if the same situation was in basic, okay, a basic solution, not an acidic solution, okay, to look at a basic solution here, what we would need to do is we take our normal balanced equation here and we add OHs to it. So we got 14H plus. We add 14 OHs to the left side. Cr2O7, 2 minus, plus 6Fe, 2 plus. And you got 2 Cr3 plus, plus 6Fe, 3, 3 plus. And then you got 7 waters at the bottom here. So when these two are added together here, that gives us, oh, got to add 14 OHs on that side too. So you add plus 14 AOHs on both sides, that gives us 14 waters on the left. So those two make water, 14 waters, 7 waters. So you cancel out the 7 waters, that cancels out 7 of the waters here. So you have 7 waters on the left side, 0 waters on the right, and you got your 14 OHs. So this makes your Cr2, O7, 2 minus, plus 7 H2O, plus 6 Fe2 plus makes your 2 Cr3 plus, plus 6 Fe3 plus, plus 14 OH minus. And this here is now the balanced chemical equation for the solution. Again, these all cancel out, so this might be an easier way of drawing it. There we go. And this cancels out there. And that is your final answer for the redox equation in basic or alkaline solution. That's how to balance the redox equation. Thanks for listening and may chemistry be with you.